Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the input and output examples written in processing within the processing environment itself. Um, this is great if you're interested in learning a little bit about processing, about how it works. Uh, processing is a great programming language to get started with if you want to program animations or do some basic stuff with video or even do some pretty basic stuff with sound. Um, it's a language that we use to teach our first year computing students at Goldsmiths. It's very popular um, at lots of different universities and you can find great resources online to help you learn it. Um, it's also probably good to be able to run things in processing if you're running into problems with any of the executables. Maybe you have a slightly different configuration um, on your machine and things don't seem to be working even though I've done my best to package them up for you. Well, it'll be pretty easy to run them in processing. And then as a bonus, you can take a look at the source code and uh, even change it if you'd like. So if you don't have processing installed, head over to processing.org and you'll be able to download an installer for your computer. Um, when you have it installed, if you open it up, you're just going to see a blank editor window. So processing is, on one hand, it's an environment where you can um, write your own code. Now, you don't have to write code from scratch, um, especially not for this class, um, but if you head over and look at some of the inputs and outputs on the Weconator example site, you'll notice that I give you the option of downloading processing source code for the ones that I wrote in processing. So this one, for instance, this video input face detection, this is part of the, the walkthrough examples. If I download the processing source code um, zip and unzip it, I'll see a folder here. And inside this folder, I have two files. Um, one is called face and one is called video input face detection processing, three inputs. Um, you notice both of these have the PDE file extension. That means it's a piece of processing code and you're going to need to run it within processing in order to do anything with it. Notice also that this one here it has exactly the same file name as the folder that it's in. This is a convention that processing relies on. Um, this means that this is the main piece of code for running that processing program or sketch. Um, you might find other pieces of code in the same directory. Um, those are sort of helper pieces of code which your main piece of code it might use. Right? So by default everything's going to be put into a directory structure that makes sense for the sketch. If you start moving things around you may find that you run into problems, it doesn't can't find all the code that you need and so on. So my advice is just you know unzip the zip file from the website and then inside the folder don't you know don't delete things, don't rename things, just keep them the way they are. Okay. So once you've got processing installed, you should be able to double click on this file and you'll see the source code for it. And um, here we actually see both of the files for this example. This is my main piece of code and this is my, my helper face piece of code. Um, you don't need to do anything to the code to run it, so if you're not a programmer, it's, it's gonna be fine. Um, hitting this play button here will run the code. Now, here we see a big scary error message. It's not that scary. It says on the bottom, the package processing.video does not exist. You might be missing a library. Now, if you haven't run processing before, you're going to get a few of these errors because um, the code that I've given you relies on a few extra pieces of code called libraries, which you don't have installed because you haven't needed them yet. So this is easy to fix. What I'm going to do is go up to sketch, import library, add library. And see here it says the package processing.video does not exist. So if I, if I just open this up, I'm going to see something like that. I can type in video and I'll see something called video. And I can install that. If you're just starting out with processing, you'll also see this for the open sound control library, OSCP5. Um, if I search for OSCP5, you see that I've got this installed already, right? But it's, once you see that things are installed, my video finished installing down here, I can close this and hit play again. And once all of my libraries have been added, my code should run. 